guidelines of the 2024 edition of Mobile World Congress. My colleague Reema caught up with Department of Telecommunications Secretary Neeraj Mittal. He spoke about the timeline of upcoming spectrum auctions and PLI schemes. Listen in. The Government of India's PLI scheme for you know the telecom and the semiconductors totally both of them amount to I think about four billion dollars. Uh, ours is about 1.7 billion dollars and uh, uh, the so far the sales which have been achieved are about 42,000 crores, uh, exports of about 10,000 crores um, and investment of about I think about 4,000 crores or something like that. Now that that really shows that the scheme has worked very well. Uh, as far as incentive disbursal is concerned, it is a matter of verification. Uh, there is a time lag between the targets and the dispersal. So I think the scheme is going well. We are looking to see if there are any changes that need to be made. Uh, we will do them as we go along. So as a part of uh, changes and India's vision to being a developed country by 2047, uh, what is the, you know, as a DOT secretary, what is your vision? What are the steps that India should take on the telecom front? Are you talking about the scheme, PLI? No, on, the, on the PLI scheme and even other steps, even on the regulatory front. So on the PLI, of course, we need to uh, go down from uh, manufacturing products to, say, subsystems, telecom subsystems, uh, component ecosystem, um, enabling the uh, growth of uh, startups in this space, uh, looking at reforms if there are any required, removing uh, you know any roadblocks in uh, regulatory clearances. The new telecom act really does all this in one shot. One of the great uh, I think enablers which has been done in the telecom act is a regulatory sandbox which perhaps is not there anywhere else which will enable us and the new players to test new technologies in a controlled environment and uh, bring those technologies to bear in India. Uh, since you uh, you know spoke about the new telecom policy, the new telecom policy also allows for satellite spectrum to be allocated on an administered basis and not auctioned. Uh, what's the timeline and the pricing? When do you think you will be able to, the government will be able to allocate spectrum to all the satellite communication companies? So it's an ongoing process since the act has now clarified the, um, the basis for allocation. Uh, <coughs> we, we have to follow the due process, uh, examine the legal implications, uh, talk to uh, the stakeholders if required and uh, i don't think there is any you know having waited for so long um, it's uh, it's possibly a matter of uh, some time before we can actually do the allocation to them do you think it's possible it'll happen in 2024 uh, this year this year well i'm i'm i don't think uh, you know we'll go beyond 24 that doesn't look likely to me but you know um, it depends on the uh, how the um, how we are able to go through the well-defined process which has been given through in the act. And what's the thought process on the pricing of this spectrum? If it is administrative uh, allocation, then there are well, well, you know, laid down formulas which are there available. We have to see if they need to be, you know, tweaked or used as it is. And, uh, you know, that is the difference between the allocation by auction versus administrative pricing. Okay, and one final question, since we're on the subject of Spectrum. This year's Spectrum auction, when is it likely? Is it going to happen before FI24 or will it spill over into the next financial year? One of your colleagues just asked this question. We said a couple of months, but again, the process has to be gone through. We have to maintain absolute transparency. Um, the All the stakeholders have to be on board. Information has to be given. They need time. So there are many factors involved. Um, I, I, you know, I cannot predict a time, but very soon. Okay, all right. That's the word coming in from Telecom Secretary. We'll keep getting you more updates from Mobile World Congress, what's happening in Barcelona. But for now, we'll sit into a short break. Up next, uh, we'll